Welcome to the Learn to Sew Academy channel. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you. In this tutorial, we'll be making a six piece skirt. A six piece skirt is a skirt that we cut into six pieces and we join them together to form a whole skirt. If you look at this rough diagram that I have here, you'll see that we have the front uh, part of the skirt cut into three, one, two, three. The back will also be exactly the same thing, also cut into three. These together make a six piece skirt. If we were going to have a zipper at the back of our skirt, then we'll have to cut the center panel at the back into two. So we can have our zip allowance and add our zip at the center. But in this tutorial, we're going to be doing a skirt with an elastic waistband. So we're going to make an elastic um, waistband for this six piece skirt sample we're going to be working on. I will be using a waist of 42, hip of 53 and a skirt length of 41. Now, we are going to divide both of our waist and our hip by 12. Why are we dividing by 12? This is because when we measured our waist, we took a circumference. We went around the waist to get the waist measurement. And then the hip, we went around to get the hip measurement. Now, when we start to cut, we're going to be cutting piece by piece. You're going to cut each piece of the six pieces. Depending on your level of um, expertise, you can cut all three pieces together. But in this tutorial, I'm at attempting to make it as simple and straightforward as possible. So I'm going to use the method, method that I found to be like the easiest for people that have never done this before to follow. So I'm going to be cutting the pieces um, individually so you can see you know, and follow and reason out why we are doing what we do. So in this case now, let's take the center, for example. When we start to cut this, we're going to fold our fabric into two. Now, because we're folding our fabric into two, and we know that we are doing a six piece, for that circumference of waist and hip that we took, that is why we are doing six times two. So that gave us 12. Again, we are doing six times two. Because we're doing six piece, six pieces, and then we are folding each piece into two when we cut. So to measure what um, um, measurements will be, that's why we're going to be using six times two. And for the waist, we arrived at 3.5. For the if we arrived at 4.42. Now, when we join, we need seam allowances because we're going to be joining this side of the center piece. For example, to this side of our um, side piece. And then we're going to be joining this other side of the center piece to this other side piece. So we need half an inch allowance. And when we fold, we just need to measure that half an inch. Because when we fold and cut, we're going to automatically have half an inch on both sides. So that is where the 0.5 comes in. So our total for the waist will be 4. Our total for our eve will be 4.92, which we are approximately approximating to 5 inches, just to make it easy for you to find it on the tape measure. So we're going to start cutting our fabric now. Before you start, you want to make sure you have all your tools in place. You're going to need a tape measure, a scissors, something to... Uh, mark your fabric with and you're going to need a ruler so the first step you also want to um, do is to make sure you identify the wrong side of the fabric in this particular fabric this is my wrong side we need to mark on the wrong side so you want to make sure you identify the wrong side of your fabric now when you start to cut you want to determine how much fullness you want at the bottom of your skirt if you recall from this diagram, your skirt starts out like a pencil skirt, like a straight skirt, and then it begins to 
pull uh, to form like a inverted V shape. It starts to form that almost like an A shape at the bottom. It flares out. So you want to know how much you need for the bottom of the skirt. So in this particular example, I'm going to be using um, 16 inches for each of the panel. Each of the six pieces is going to have 16 inches at the bottom. So I'm going to add my half an inch on both sides for my seam allowance. And that will mean I'm going to be cutting um, 17 inches for the bottom of each of this um, of each of the six pieces so since I'm cutting this on the fold I'll just do 17 divided by 2 which will give me eight and a half so I'm gonna make sure that what I have folded here that I have enough for my eight and a half which I do so the first thing I want to the next thing I'll be doing now is from the top the waist I'm going to measure 19 inches this 19 inches is the point where i'm going to start to make my skirt to flay out so that's the six uh, 19 inches that i'm measuring and this is just above the knee because you want to be able to move your legs so you don't want it to be you know like below your knee or whatever it's best to have it above the knee and um the standard is around this 19 inch. If the person is shorter, you may want to measure them to see where above the knee is for them. Or if they are taller, you may want to measure. But right here, I'm using 19 inches. Now, I'm going to measure from my fold. I'll look at the measurements I've calculated and look at which of these measurements is the biggest of the two, looking at the waist and the hip. So for each piece, the waist is 4 and the hip is 5. So I'm going to be going by the 5. And actually, because I'm using an elastic waist, at the end of this, I'm not going to need to shape out any waist for this particular skirt because we're going to just pull in elastic. So I'm going to be measuring 5 inches. Remember, we already added our allowances. So I'm just going to do the 5 all across to my 19 inch mark so that's what i'm just doing here just doing the five inches all across to the 19 inch mark next i want to connect these lines using a ruler The next you measure the length of your skirt. We're using 41 for this particular skirt. Then at the end of the skirt, we're going to leave an allowance of one inch. That's for folding in the skirt at the bottom. At the top, I'm gonna leave an additional allowance of one and a half inches. That's for turning it in. I'm going to be putting a one inch um, wide elastic at the waist. So I'm going to leave one and a half inch extra with the one inch at the bottom. Altogether, I'm adding an additional two and a half inches. So plus the 41 inch, that's going to give me 43 and a half inches. So that's what I'm going to be measuring here. Next, you want to connect the lines that you've marked on your fabric. Now, you come back to your 19-inch mark, the mark just above your knee. And you go to the point where you have marked your 5 inches from the fold, from the center. So, now you want to connect this point to the bottom of the skirt this is to form your slant so you connect that point to the bottom of your skirt just like that and we have done the marking for our 
fourth panel so in this case we just cut through following all the markings we made we just cut our very first panel So right here we have a front panel. So the next thing we need to do now, remember we're doing a six piece skirt that's going to contain six pieces. So the rest of the pieces are going to be cut just the same way and we will later shape our sides. So because we don't have a zipper, the back will also be the same way. We don't need to put a zipper so we're not going to be cutting this in the middle or anything. So we just do exact same thing for our back and then for the four sides, the remaining four sides. So again, there's different ways to cut it. You can decide to cut three all together, but just to simplify the process for you. That's why I've decided to do this, to do it this way. So I'm just going to cut five more of this and then I'll show you how to shape the side. now we're going to shape the side of four of the pieces well, we're removing the back uh, center piece and the front center piece they don't need to be, to be shaped but we're going to shape um the other four pieces just at the side because when we start to join it we're going to join one of the sides to the center either the back or the front center piece then the other side, I'm just going to shape it in a little because I just want a little bit of pencil. But around the waist area, because I'm using an elastic band, I'm not going to be doing any shaping in the area, in the waist area. If I were, if I were doing um, a zip at the back, then I would be shaping the waist. But in this instance, for my elastic waist six-piece cut, I don't need to shape the waist. So I just want to shape at the 19 point mark just above the knee i just want to shape it in a little because i want it to have a little bit of more pencil if you prefer you can leave it like this is this is good too but i just like to let it cut in a little bit more so that is the only reason i want to shape that um 19 inch point so i'm just going to confirm my 19 inch mark it's right here And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take in one inch. Some people use one and a half, whatever you decide to do. But I want to do one inch. So this is my one inch. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to shape this one inch to join wherever my hip area is. To identify my hip area, I need to measure nine inches from the top. But remember, I left an extra one and a half inch for my um, elastic at the waist. So that's going to be like 10 and a half points. That's what I tr I'm trying to identify my hip by. So like from 10 and a half from the top, I'm marking it right here just to identify where my hip area will be. So this is right there. So I'm going to join that um, one inch, the one I just marked from here at my 19 inch, just above my knee measurement just above my knee point i'm going to join that to where i have the e mark remember the e is everything that we measured here which was five so i'm just going to join it all the way to the edge right there and then i'm going to redo my slant I'll start from that one inch point that I measured 
here at my 19 inch mark right there so I'm gonna do a new slant all the way to the bottom of the skirt Now to cut that out, you need to open, make sure you open your fabric because if you cut it while folded, you're going to end up cutting it wrong. Remember, like I explained earlier, we're only going to be cutting one side, the side that we're using as a side of the, of the skirt. This other place right here on the panel is what we are joining to the center panel so we don't need to shape it I'm just gonna leave a mark here for my for the wrong side of my fabric so you follow the mark that you made the shape you made and just cut that out So this will be my my shape on the side of my skirts and since we have four sides I'm going to be cutting the other side well when you cut you must make sure that you mirror you make sure you put the fabric right side to right side because when you do your when you start to sew you must remember that one side you have a right side so your side shape will be on the far end of one side and the far end of this other side because in the center you're going to be putting your center panel either for the back or for the front so that's why you that's why you want to make sure you're doing right side to right side because you need to mirror you need the the whatever you're cutting you need it to mirror each other so just place that right on top of that and you just um shape it out So that's two sides done and I'll just do the same thing I just um, put the two together the next um, sides I put them together and I just do the same shaping just the same way I do I'll use this as a pattern again I'll place it on top of this and just shape it out When you cut your fabric, don't be in a hurry. Make sure you think it through so that you ensure you're cutting the right sides. So now I'm just placing the first two sides on top of the next two sides, right side to right side again. So the one I already cut is serving as my pattern. So I'm just going to cut. If you like, if you prefer, you can make it um you can do it one at a time if that is easier for you if you're too nervous to cut multiple fabric together that's why i showed you this by cutting one piece at a time because i know some may be nervous to cut all the pieces together so in that case you can still cut this one at a time And that's it we have all the sides cut out and our center will just be in the middle our center panels will be in the middle and we'll just when we start to sew we'll just be joining them all the way from the waist down to the bottom of the skirt for this particular um, skirt, I'm going to be doing 
uh, full lining so I'm gonna show you quickly what I'll do with the lining I just need to place this on the lining I've cut out exact same thing for every piece so that's pretty straightforward and easy you just use your individual pieces as a pattern place it on your lining you don't need to do any calculations just put it right there and cut it out exact same way now i'm gonna cut a lining for this fabric right here for this pieces i'm cutting two um, sides together i'm cutting two pieces together so i folded the lining just to make it a little bit faster for you again you can do it individually if that's what you prefer to do if that's what you're more comfortable doing so you just want to cut exactly the same thing remember we're now using a fabric that we cut earlier as a pattern like a pattern for cutting this um, lining so that's just what we're doing We don't need to do any more measurement. We just cut in exact same size. I'll just fold it in. So that's what we'll do for all the sides. And we'll be done with cutting a six piece step. Now I've joined all my three pan, uh, pieces for both the front and the back. One, two, three. And I joined them together with the lining this way. And I just locked it. So I'm going to join the two sides now. So I'm going to put the Two p are uh, the two three pieces I joined. I'm gonna put them all together now, and the next step is for me to sew the sides. So that's what you wanna do. Next is we sew the sides all the way to the bottom, remembering that we have a half an inch allowance, and after that. I'm gonna work on the waist remember we left one and a half inch waist so I'm gonna sew this round and leave a little opening to pass my elastic throwing we left one and a half inches for the waist so I'm gonna cut my elastic Based on the waist that I have, I'm going to make it a little shorter than my than my waist. And I'm just going to have that here. After I've sewn this round, I'm going to turn this in by half an inch at the edge. And then make sure that I have one inch here for my elastic to pass through. So that's the next steps that I'm going to be doing. Okay, so now I have joined all my three panels on each side, both the front and the back, together with my lining. And I just finished joining the sides too. So the next thing I'm going to do is to sew it round for the elastic band. I'm just going to turn this inside out. If you recall, I left a one and a half inches for the band. So I'm just going to turn it in. Making sure that I have about one inch fold right here for the elastic so i'm gonna pin it all the way across
and what and then i'm gonna sew it all the way around but when i sew it i will leave a little opening this is where i'm gonna pass my elastic band through so i'll show you that once i get that part completed now i've finished sewing the waist all the way around that's what i have here so the next thing to do is you take your elastic you cut it between two to four inches shorter than your waist and you get a safety pin pass it through your elastic close it up and then pass it through the hole and take it all the way around the waist of your skirt pass it through and take it all the way around now i've passed this all the way to the end of the hole that i left open so as you do this you want to make sure that the other end of your elastic does not get pulled in into the waist because that way it may become difficult for you to bring it out so make sure it's still out So now I'm just going to evenly distribute it. I'm going to hold this together so I don't lose this other end inside the O while I do an even distribution. Again, you use between two to four inches length of elastic. I mean two to four inches less than what your actual waist was. So it's depending on your personal preference. I use four inches here and you can always, you know, just wrap the elastic around your waist to see if you're comfortable before you cut it too. You can do that too. I know some people also do like six inches, but I use four here. Okay, another, another thing I want to make sure that my elastic is lying flat and that it's not twisted anywhere around here. So that's another thing I'm making sure. I'm going to sew it in. I'm going to sew them together, the elastic. And then that way I'll be able to now distribute all of this round the waist better i'm just gonna remove the safety pin real quick again i'm making sure that this is lying flat so what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna go to my sewing machine and i'm just going to sew this across just like this and once i'm done doing this I'll distribute it evenly and then I'll then sew this place in I, I'll show you when I get to that stage the waist is now completed as you can see I also completed the end of the skirt the edges are all sewn. I uh, made them all the way across. I sew them all across. So this cat is completed. Now. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful. If so, please remember to give us a thumbs up and please subscribe so you don't miss out on our other videos. Thank you and please share this if you know anyone that this is going to help. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.